The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 585 Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yapchan, and today I have an amazing lady on the show today. She is the creator of the Face Yoga Method, and I'm really excited to have her on and share her story with us today on self-confidence. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Fumiko Takatsu. Fumiko, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to the listeners. Sure. And first of all, thank you so much for having me here, Shina. I'm so excited because I lived in Canada and I know all about Canadian good food and culture. So thank you so much again. And I am originally from Japan and I grown up and educated in Japan and I went to school in Canada. So that's where I learned English. But I created the exercise called the Face Yoga Method when I was 36 years old, when I was in Japan, because I got in a car accident and that trauma of the car accident really made my face and the body out of alignment and I just didn't like the way I looked. On top of that, I was getting older, 36 years old. Now it's kind of funny to say old, but at the time I thought I was getting old and I just started losing confidence and I started creating exercises just like toning the body, tone the face muscles and I start seeing changes on my face. And then my friends and other people wanted to learn. And that's how all the journey started. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Fumiko, what's your favorite self-confidence quote? It's from Coco Chanel. And it says, nature gives you the face you have at 20. And life shapes the face you have at 30. But at 50, you've got the face you deserve. And this is actually originally my mom told me when I was in 20s. And I always loved this quote. Thanks for sharing that great quote. And in your own words, how do you define self-confidence? Well, it's pretty simple, but be yourself at any situations. And especially, I always wanted to be confident with no makeup, just lipstick and simple wearing the black dress and earring and go any place with anybody and enjoy any situation. And that's, that's how I want to define the confidence. Thanks for sharing that. I think that's a great definition that you mentioned. And Fumiko, what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? Well, because of my cultural background, you know, Japanese culture, which I love so much, but it was so much pressure growing up because my my teacher at school always said do like other students and also my parents have to raise me a certain way and I have to dress a certain way and I have to say things quote unquote proper way and peer pressure was also huge and I felt confident when I completely perfectly made up but when I wasn't perfectly made up I felt very very vulnerable and naked almost and I didn't have a confidence so I just didn't like the way I felt almost like super confident externally but not confident inside and I felt I was so not confident enough to be myself and I always have to kind of cover up myself and that's why the makeup was one of the things I really try so hard just to cover up my face and dressing up way too much was another way to cover my lack of confidence and I I just got so tired of that and before the discovery of self-confidence I just went through all the education I pursued higher education I have a master's degree and I always tried to set goals like really high goals and try to achieve so that I thought in my head I'll get confidence by getting goals and realizing my dreams and getting higher education but that wasn't true Thanks for sharing that. And I think that's something, you know, we can all relate to, right? Especially growing up as an Asian woman, you know, we're told to be, do, dress a certain way, you know, act a certain way, say only certain things that doesn't kind of make any noise. So we really 
lose our, we, you know, we feel trapped, you know, in our own selves because it's like we want to be who we are, but at the same time, we have to follow a set of rules that, you know, doesn't make sense. It's just been passed down from generation to generation, not realizing like times of change, right? So things will change, of course. Um, but what was that point in your, your life when you realized you were more than enough to go out there and, you know, live life according to your terms, especially, you know, creating the face yoga method at, you know, at age 36, when most people will feel like it's too late to create something like what was that aha moment? Yeah, well, aha moment was, there's a couple of actually aha moments, but I took so many seminars, I read so many self help books and uh, realized that today is the only day and only this is the only moment I have in my life. Because I always, like I said earlier, I tried to set goals, like try to achieve the goals. And I always thought if I achieve that goal, I'll get the confidence. But it wasn't true. And it worked great until I hit certain age, which is, you know, 35, 36. Because I always told my friends, like, oh, I'm trying to do this. I'm going to get this. And I looked very confident outside. And I think I was convincing myself I was confident. But like I said earlier, inside, I was so not confident at all. And when I realized this aha moment, like, wow, right now is a time I have, only time. There's no future and there's no past. Right now is a time I really have to cherish, appreciate, and understand. And that was something I learned from, I don't remember exactly, but books and seminars and also my own experience. Thanks for sharing that. I think we all get caught up in, you know, what happened in the past and trying to worry about the future that we forget to live in the present moment. And, you know, the more when, that we can focus on, you know, living on the present moment and what we have and what we're thankful for, um, you know, we just have more blessings coming our way, right? More opportunities pop up because it's kind of like we just let go of what happens, right? We kind of just, you know, live in the moment, right? Like, like you right. mentioned. And because of that, what's your life been like now? Oh, I feel so free. I really like this. And also, also my age, I'm going to be 50 this fall. And I just realized that I'm not going to be younger, but I am going to enjoy every single moment in my life because you don't know what happens next. And another thing is I like another quote for Eleanor Roosevelt. She says, today is the oldest day you've ever been and the youngest you ever be again. And that's so true because I'm not going to be 20 years ago. I mean, 20 years again, even I exercise my face, my body, but I'm going to be the youngest I'll ever be again in my life, the rest of my life. So when I think about it, it really clicked something in my head. And I just love that feeling this freedom and I feel happy and I appreciate things more than ever. So that's, that's where I'm at right now. Thanks for sharing that. And Fumiko, you know, to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey to self-confidence. What would be that one tip you'd give to her? I like to say, you know, we, we do that often, but don't create your own stories, especially like victim stories from societal pressure or peer pressure or even parents' pressure. They, they try to love us, but especially living outside of my own culture, I see that I can be my own person. I don't need to be just daughter for my parents. And I don't need to be a certain way because of my culture background. And finding that balance, of course, because I want to be a good daughter still to my parents, but finding the balance, it's so important. And only thing you can do is having and listen to your own voice, which is often not easy because there's a lot of noise coming from all other places. But in tune with that noise, I'm sorry, in tune in that your tiny voice will help you to go where you want to go. And culture is great, but you can create your own culture and that's going to make you who you are. And that's how I've been trying to do and telling my students to and I have a mantra I always tell myself when I start having doubt I said I'm who I am and that's who I am and just keep telling myself so that I can be strong again and I can get a confidence again 
It doesn't matter my background, my cultural background, my educational background, where I live now or where I will be living, as long as I know who I am. And that's a very strong sense of happiness and satisfaction I can have. So I really want to encourage other people. It doesn't matter how old you are. Just listen to your voice and create your own culture and create your personality and life you want to create by being who you are. Thanks for sharing those great tips. And if our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do or check out the Face Yoga Method, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Yes, look me up and faceyogamethod.com. There's lots of exercises and lots of free video blogs and things you can do starting right now and be confident and create the life you want from inside out and be happy. Thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Fumiko, you can also head on over to the TaoofSelfConfidence.com and search for Fumiko's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else that we talked about. And I really just want to thank Fumiko for taking the time to share her story and tips with us on self-confidence. So thank you so much, Fumiko. Thank you, Sina. It was so nice having, I mean, talking to you. Not a problem. It was really great having you on the show. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of The Tao of Self-Confidence. Want to learn how you can use podcasting to market your business? Download your free report by visiting our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.